Number 93. How many milliliters of a 0.1500 molar solution of KOH, so potassium hydroxide, will be required to titrate 40.00 mils of a 0.0656 molar solution of phosphoric acid, which is H3PO4? And then they give us this nice little balanced equation here. Now, I see the word titrate. Right, So we've done tons of problems like this where we're titrating, aka we're mixing an acid with the base. And usually we love to use that quick little formula here, right? But the thing is with that formula, and the formula what I mean is that MAVA equals MBVB, right? And then you multiply by the number of H pluses and you multiply by the number of OH minuses, right? You can only use that formula if you have a strong acid and a strong base. The math for that formula works the best with strong acids and strong bases. So in this case, KOH, yeah, that's on my list of six strong bases, but H3PO4, that's not on my list of six strong acids. H3PO4 would be classified as a weak acid. So I can't use that formula. If you want to check, right, we are going to do it the correct way. And you can do the titration formula and you will see that it's not going to work. Mainly because there's not three H pluses. It doesn't work for weak acids. So we have to do it a different way. And that's totally fine. In this case, we do have to use the balanced equation. So I'm just going to rewrite it a little bigger. So here we go. H3PO4, who cares about the states? So I'm not going to write them down. Who cares about the states? When you're doing the math, no one cares. K2H, HPO4, and then plus 2H2O. Since there's coefficients, it's probably balanced. You can always check. I'm just going to give it a quick check over. And looks pretty balanced to me. So we have 2 and 2. Now I'm just going to write what I'm given, right? In this case... They told us that I'm titrating 40 mils of a 0.0656 molarity solution of H3PO4. So I have 0.0656 molarity, and I have 40 mils of it. They were asking for how many liter, milliliters of a 0.15 molar solution of KOH, which is over here. So I know the molarity. They told me that but I don't know the milliliters, AKA the volume. That's what I'm searching for. But they gave me more information for this compound, right? They gave me more information for the acid. Can I do anything with this? Or how am I gonna go from one compound to another? Remember, if we're gonna use stoichiometry, AKA those you know, dimensional analysis and the ratios, I need the moles to go from one compound to another. They didn't give me the moles, but they gave me a molarity, they gave me a volume, I'm searching through, you know, I'm going through all the formulas I know for molarity, and there is one, right? It's molarity equals moles divided by liters. We've seen this equation time and time again. They gave me the molarity. They gave me the volume, aka, right, I'll know the liters, so I can solve for moles. I'm just going to rearrange this formula uh, just for the video sake, but you can use molarity equals moles over liters. But basically, if we're solving for moles, it would just be molarity times liter. Okay. But they gave me mils. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert this into liters. We can always do that by just dividing by a thousand, right? So 40 divided by a thousand, you can move the decimal place over to the left three times but that's going to be 0 0.04000, if you want to keep the sig figs, right? One, two, three, yeah. Okay, now let's just find out what the moles are for the H3PO4. Moles equals the molarity, 0 0.0656 times 0 0.04000. Okay. And the moles of the phosphoric acid is 0 0.0656 times 0 0.04. I get a pretty small number, 0 
two six two four moles, right? So that's going under here. So I'm gonna put that down. I have zero point zero zero two six two four moles. Okay. And now since I'm done with that, I can basically get rid of this. So if you want to pause the video to make sure that you have it written down in your notes, but it's going bye bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Okay. Now I'm going to use my dimensional analysis to go from moles of H3PO4 to the moles of KOH. That's using this ratio that we know and we love, right? It's the grams to moles to moles to grams. However, since we're starting with moles, I'm starting over here. I don't need the grams, so I could just erase this. Goodbye. And in this case, let's just see. If they gave me the molarity and they're asking for the milliliters and the formula is still going to be molarity equals moles over liters, right? I just need to find the moles of this. So I just got to go to the moles of B, right? AKA KOH. So I don't even need the grams. So this is just like a one stepper here, guys, right? So I'm going to go from the moles of H3PO4 to the moles of KOH. I got 0 0.002624 moles of the H3PO4. Let's find out how many moles of the KOH. Start with what you're given. 24, and then that's moles of H3PO4. Make your ratio, throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom. In this case, it's gonna be the moles of H3PO4. And then moles of KOH go on the top. That's what we want. Mole to mole relationship of different compounds is always the balanced equation. Use your coefficients. So in this case, I don't see any coefficient in front of H3PO4. That means that there's only one but I see that there's a two for KOH. So for every one phosphoric acid, I need two equivalents of the KOH. So for every two moles of the KOH, I just need one of the H3PO4. So basically we're just taking that number and multiplying it by two. 0 0.005246, oh no, 5248 moles. Okay. So maybe I'll just put this under here. Okay. I got the moles. I got the molarity. I just need to find the mills, right? So that's stemming from molarity equals moles over liters. I'm just going to rearrange it. I'm going to solve for liters and liters equals moles divided by molarity, right? So, oh, why did I put divided by L? Divided by molarity. So let's just plug the numbers in. I have the correct units, so I don't need to put in my units here. I have moles and I have molarity. So I have 0 0.005248 divided by the molarity 0 0.1500. And let's see what I get. Now, remember, this is going to get us into liters. So that divided by 0.15, I get 0 0.03. And maybe we should start looking for sig figs. I see that this has four sig figs. This one has four, but this one has three. So technically, I should only have three sig figs here. So we'll say 0 0.0350. And that's in liters. So they asked for milliliters. We know how to go from milliliters or liters to mils, right? You just multiply by a thousand. So one, two, three. So 35, 35.0 mils. And there you go. So how many liters or how many milliliters of this solution of KOH will be required to neutralize or titrate this amount of phosphoric acid, I only need 35 mils. That's it, guys. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
And tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel and about this cool service. And thank you so much for that. Um, I really hope I'm helping you guys out. And I'll see you all in the next lessons. All right? Have a great day. Bye-bye.